Scaffolding is a temporary structure that is used either to support an original structure or to function as a platform for the workers to perform construction works. It is a framework of horizontal, vertical, and inclined members. Every scaffolding constructed must be strong and firm to support the weight of the workers and other construction materials laid on it. Features of Scaffolding Scaffolding are temporary structure erected close to the main work to provide a working platform for workers and to separate other storage of building materials, tools, and plants away from the main work for better safety and organizing. They are also called staging. Scaffolding is used for construction, maintenance, repair, alteration, demolition, painting, etc. Any construction work that needs access more than 1.5 m in height from the ground level demands scaffolding. Scaffolding members can be made out of timber or steel. Let's discuss the main components of a scaffold system. We will comprehensively cover each component and the final written description will be provided at the conclusion of the video for your reference. Whether it be timber, bamboo, or steel scaffoldings, most of the components remain the same. Consider a wall structure that is to be constructed. When the wall height rises above 1.5 meters, we need scaffoldings to work beyond that height. The first main part of scaffolding is standards. Standards are vertical members of the framework that are supported on the ground or drums or embedded into the ground. Then we have ledgers. These are horizontal supporting members that run parallel to the wall or the facing main structure. Next is put logs. Put logs are traverse members supported over the ledgers, with one end fixed on the wall and the other end on the ledgers. These members support elements to create a platform to support workmen. An opening is created to set up put logs. So for the working platform, we have boarding. These are horizontal platforms to support the workmen and material. These boardings are supported on the put logs. Next for additional support, we provide bracings. Braces are diagonal members and fixed on the standards to provide lateral support to the whole framework. Another important part is bridle. A bridle is a small member used to bridge an opening in the wall so that it can support one end of the put log. In wall openings, we need something to support the put log. We use a small member called bridle to give this support. In figure 1, one end of the put logs is only supported by the ledgers. But when both ends of a put log are supported on ledgers, we call it a transom. In most cases, transom acts as handrails. The next components are associated with the safety of the workers on the scaffolding framework. These include Guard rail These are rails provided at the working level parallel to the ledgers. Toe board these are boards that are placed parallel to the ledgers and are supported on put logs at the level of the working platform. Mid rails. Mid rails are also guard rails provided at mid between the boarding and the guard rail for extra support and safety. Now, in the case of steel scaffoldings, special connections are required to connect standards, ledgers, and other members, unlike nails and ropes in timber scaffolds. This includes Couplers Couplers are fittings used to join the various components of a scaffold together. Then we have scaffold ties, used to secure the scaffold to other structures. The figure shows the scaffolds tied to the wall using rigid ties at the top and bottom. Now, let's check each term and its definition one by one. For more construction engineering technical videos, subscribe to Civil Engineering Fanatics.